Hello everybody. Happy New Year 2014. Now I want to show you other tutorial from the SPSS. Some of you have the Excel file. Uh, you don't know how to can uh, import your data from Excel to SPSS. Now I can show you how to can uh, import the Excel file to SPSS. For example, this is your Excel file. Okay, this is your Excel file. This is your data. Eight, six, stay. I don't know. Visit two years. Process and like this. This is your Excel file. This is uh, about the uh, some of the project of the student. Uh, now you don't know how to can. Uh, input this uh, uh, met, uh, this data to SPSS okay you must open the SPSS it's really easy I use the SPSS 20 but no different you can use every SPSS you go to file open you go to data after you go to data you find your SPSS Excel file. You must from file up type. You must choose the Excel file. This is the Excel file. This is your Excel file. You can click. Location. Oh, you must close this one. Close the Excel file. Okay, another time. Excel file, okay. Ultimate channel hotel open now. Uh, you can this is the you must click on the read variable name from the first row of the data. This one you must click this one your uh, worksheet. For example, you have the two or three worksheet, you must choose the which worksheet you wanna uh, import here. For me, because only one worksheet, I choose this one. But if I have the other worksheet, I must choose which one. Okay. Please, uh, this is the maximum width of the for a string column. No need to change this one. Click OK. Please wait. Okay. Your Excel file. Import to SPSS. Really easy. Really not really complicated. Uh, my sample size here is 50. You can see all of the column. It's really easy. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel to continue e-learning for you. Happy New Year. I wish all the best for you.